A groundbreaking project in the fight for gender equality was unveiled as Kuso International in partnership with Canada and the Gender Affairs Ministry in St. Lucia outlined a blueprint for gender equality project. Gender has taken flight in St. Lucia. And our responsibility is to continue to raise the gender awareness and sensitivity among our political directorates, our non-governmental organization and civil society organizations, the private sector, and the public sector. The event was held at the Harbor Club Hotel on Tuesday, October 24, 2023, where Gender Affairs Minister Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot lamented the empty talk surrounding gender equality, calling for a more action-oriented approach to addressing the inequalities facing gender affairs. Many times we talk about issues, we give a lot of lip service, but when it comes to reality, we do not commit our time, we do not commit our resources for us to ensure that what we speak about, we make it a reality. And with this, I am pleased to be here this morning to bring greetings to all of you, all our stakeholders and partners, and the funders and coordinators and support, those who are giving us the support to push our gender agenda. Kuso International, in partnership with Canada, selected St. Lucia to benefit from the Blueprint Gender Project. According to stakeholders, the main aspect of gender equality surrounds equity. We unanimously heard that there was a need for better understanding of gender and participatory budgeting. So um, the Honourable Minister had mentioned they presented the budget and said, this is what we need. If we want to talk about gender equality, this is what we need. So it means having funds carved out in budgets in different departments where activities that are associated with gender are being implemented. So that's the first thing. And we understand there's been other uh, initiatives that have come in and provided support on gender budgeting. We don't want to duplicate efforts. The idea is that we build on some of the capacity building that has taken place already in the region. The Blueprint project has been activated in Dominica, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and St. Lucia. First Secretary of the High Commission of Canada, David Eric Samad, says the Blueprint project aligns with Canada's feminist and foreign policy movements. The pursuit of gender equality is thus one of Canada's key priorities, both at home and around the world. Indeed, our feminist policy focuses on putting gender equality at the center of all that we do across all our programming. This idea is predicated on the evidence that with greater gender equality, that this not only enhances women's rights and opportunities, which is in itself is so important, but as the minister mentioned uh, on a few occasions already, these efforts also lead to greater equity and equality and outcomes for all vulnerable members of society. Kuso International has a mandate to create a global future free from poverty and inequality by sharing the skills needed to thrive. The international organization advocates for LGBTQI rights, social inclusion, economic resilience, climate change, and gender equality.